Now you will learn how to paper trade on TradingView even as a beginner on your computer and on your mobile phone. I will also show you how to do similar free trading directly on exchange platforms such as Binance Mock Trading, Bybit Demo Trading and also Mex Demo Trading. Let's start with the paper trading. The first step is to have at least a free trading view account and i will leave your link in the description right here below the video where you can join trading view for free after clicking the first link right here you will land on the trading view registration page where you are able to create your account and you can see the details of your welcome rewards before you start doing the paper trading here you probably want to know what is paper trading all about Paper trading means practicing trading for free, also known as trading with play money. That can bring you multiple benefits because you can learn how trading works in practice without taking financial risks. You can directly test different strategies, indicators and metrics on trading view without risks. Let's go through the steps how you can find paper trading. When you are on the trading view homepage, you can click right here for the menu. You can click for products and then you can click here for super charts. Then you can see the menu here on the bottom and you can put it up by clicking here open panel and then you will see here on the trading panel this thing called paper trading brokerage simulator by trading view. You can click that one right here and next you click here connect but before we move forward here on the computer I will show how you can do the same also on your phone. When you are on your phone, you can open the TradingView app by clicking here Open. Then you click here Charts. Then you will see an option that says Analysis Hub or something similar. You will click it and here it says Trade with your broker. Here it says Trading and here is also Paper Trading. You click that one right here and now you can connect right here. So I click Connect. And now I'm ready to do paper trading. I can click here buy and I can create my order right here. I can also trade with other pairs. Let me give an example right here. I click buy, I click here buy and you can see market order was executed. When you want to analyze your trade you can click right here and you click paper trading again and here you can see your positions ethereum and bitcoin trades both of them here and when you want to log out you click right here and you click here log out paper trading and now we will continue on the computer let's go through the paper trading more in detail in practice so i click here connect again and now we are trading on the computer before you get started you may want to click this settings button right here and you can choose here commission for futures and options and also for others and this is helpful for you because you can simulate real trading fees because typically whatever platform you are using for trading they charge at least some trading fees if we talk about trading crypto and bitcoin then mex global exchange usually has the lowest fees for example at the moment of recording this video maker fee is 0.00 5% and taker only 0.02 and for some trading pairs they have zero fees so you can check out the commission rate from your favorite broker and put the same commission here to simulate the trading and then you click here save then you can take a closer look at your other account details by zooming in right here paper trading they give you in the beginning typically 100k of play money and then it goes up or down depending on your trading for example now you can see my equity has gone up because i have some trades right here here you can see your unrealized and realized pnl and also the other details and on the bottom you can see your positions if you have open orders history so the previous orders and position and also account history when you want to start trading you may want to click this one right here collapse panel so you can fully focus on the charts 
The first step is of course choosing the trading pair and you can do it by clicking here on the top corner by clicking change symbol. Then you can choose here all and you can remove this text and now you can choose whatever asset you want to trade. As you know on TradingView you can trade stocks, funds, futures, forex, crypto, indices and almost anything you can imagine. I assume most of you want to trade crypto so you will find it right here and here you can choose whatever crypto you want to trade. You can also type it here on the top for example BTC which is the king of cryptocurrencies. Here you can choose which cryptocurrency exchange you want to use for simulating the trading for example Binance, Bybit, Crypto.com, OKX and many other ones. You can also choose between spot trading and futures trading. Let me choose here Binance futures as an example because it typically has one of the biggest trading volumes. And here on the top left you can also choose to buy or sell and if we are talking about futures then you are long or short. Buy means long, sell means short. Let's click here buy. It opens for you this order panel right here where you are able to open your order and you are able to use market, limit and also stop orders. Market is the most beginner friendly because that one executes the trade immediately. You can choose here your unit, click here buy and you can see order was executed. Let me open the panel right here, I close it and you can see that I have Binance order right here, BTC long. If you are wondering how can I have another BTC long trade right here, it's because that is for Bitcoin all time history index. So it's taking more or less the average from many exchanges, meanwhile this one is specifically for Binance futures contract. Let's take another example, I will close the order panel, I will collapse this banner right here and then we click here. Now I delete this and I will choose here BTC and then I will choose here Bybit futures contract. Now I click here buy again and you notice here that you are able to set up take profit and stop losses. I will leave them here by default as an example and I click here buy and you can see everything has been set up. I close the order panel, I open this trading panel right here and now you can see buy bit orders here and the take profit and stop loss levels have been set automatically. They may trigger while I'm talking here but let me show you here also on the orders you can see the stop loss and take profit as well and if you want to modify them on the go you can click right here to modify the same also for other exchanges let's take my Binance order here if I click for modify I'm able to set up take profit stop loss as well and here you can modify it must be below the current bit of course so here you can modify it yourself or you can take it away let me click here only for take profit for example purposes and you can see here take profit has been set for the Binance order but stop loss I have left empty. Now when I want to close the trades I can simply click this close button and now I can close it partially. Let's take for example 0.1 I click here partially close and you can see it was success. I have still 0.9 left and 0.1 has been closed and when I want to close it fully I click right here and click here close position and you can see it was now fully closed. As your trades are open you will start seeing your unrealized PNL right here, your trade value as well, market value, leverage and market, all the details are here. Let me close here another trade to show you how it works. Close and close and you can see the Ethereum position has been closed successfully. You can close all the trades or you can leave some open even while you log out from paper trading. So if I click here and then I click right here, log out paper trading. Aha, you can see while I was talking, the stop loss order was executed already. So that is how you can see that the stop loss works in practice. The buy bit take profit order was cancelled 
and the stop loss was executed. So the price went down and the stop loss worked perfectly. Okay, now that one of those trades has been closed, I have one position still left that I will leave open here. And when I click here, lock out paper trading, you can see that I'm now back in the beginning. Just to give you a quick example, if I connect again to paper trading, you can see that my trade remains open right here. But now there is one challenge with paper trading, especially with some beginners. Because many beginners, they start paper trading here on the trading view. They learn how to use all the indicators, metrics, strategies and the tools. And then they want to start trading with real money. They go into real exchanges like Binance for example, or Bybit or Mex Global Exchange and they start trading. But then those beginners get confused because they notice that things look a little bit different on these exchange platforms than on trading view paper trading. And what is a solution for that challenge? That is demo trading or on Binance it's known as mock trading. Because let me show you examples. Here is the trading with real money on Binance. And you can see trading view plugin is built in right here. So you can use the same indicators as well. And this is how the mock trading looks like. You can see they look similar. Here you can choose the orders. Everything is similar as it the real money trading. Same also on Bybit. If you choose demo trading, you can see here tools. And here you can see demo trading, practice trading without risking your own capital. And now you can see start trading with 100k demo assets. You click that one. Deposit successful and it gives you 100k demo funds. And here you can practice trading again. And now take a close look at the view. This is how demo trading looks like. Now when you click here start live trading, you can see that it looks similar. Here is the chart, here are the order books, here you can open your trades. On the bottom you can see the positions. So demo trading and live trading are similar. And the same also on MEX Global Exchange. This is how the demo trading looks like and this is how the real money trading looks like. You can see very similar. There are also other benefits to directly trading on exchanges such as Binance, Bybit or Max Global Exchange because they also provide many built-in tools such as automated trading bots that I am also using myself and many other tools when you come here into tools section. That may be easier for a lot of people than connecting multiple platforms with TradingView, managing external bots and many other things. And that's why a lot of people prefer to trade directly, for example on Bybit, because they can still use the TradingView tools, they can still do similar trading, but for them it's just easier to do it directly on the platform. And if you want to learn how to trade directly, for example on Bybit, how to practice with their demo trading, how to use automated bots, and all the other details I have created for you more than 150 video tutorials showing you how to use Bybit step by step. You can simply take one of your fingers right now, click right here in the corner and you will learn to use Bybit starting right now.